So in this video we're going to go through how to set up and run a C37.94 BERT test. Now when we run in, before we run any tests as per normal, the first thing you're going to do on the unit is at the main menu is go to the system menu, uh, scroll down here to reset to factory settings and click yes and that just resets the unit takes out any existing test settings etc just to make sure we're starting from a new clean slate. So we can press the home key and then simply we go over to the setup menu and hit escape to make sure we get up to the top menu here and we go up to the mode select enter and scroll right down to the bottom here till we see the C3794 endpoint. We now select that and we're now in C3794 endpoint mode go to port A, select enter, and here is where we set, um, for example, our time slots and transmit data rate. So if we change the data rate, it would change the number of time slots, or if we change the number of time slots, it would change the data rate. Um, we're just going to leave it at 64 kilobits per second here on one time slot. The only other thing we need to do here is turn the laser on when we want to do the test. As long as we've got our optics connected and our cables connected, then we can turn the optics on. So we hit home key and we're done here. Now we just go over to the test menu and hit escape to get back up to the top. Oops, too far. But we'll go back into test. And the other thing we'll do is we want to do a BERT test. So we're going to set the performance test. Uh, we could leave it to none, but we're actually going to set it to G821. Uh, so now we're going to run a G821 performance test. And effectively, that's it. I mean, we've done the basic setup now. Um, if we had a loop at the far end of the C3794 circuit, we could test back to ourselves. Or if we've got another unit at the far end, we can do um, a test from one end and back to the other. So we're going to hit the home key. Um, we're now going to go to the results. I'm just going to get back up to the top here, port A. Um, go to port A. We're going to go into uh, select performance and we're going to hit the run key. And now we can see we're running uh, from the front menu, we're running a test and we're getting no errors. We're basically running a BERT test 64 kilobits per second with no problems. Now we can sort of prove that by disconnecting the optics for a moment and then reconnecting them. So, so we just introduce some, uh, some errors in there. Uh, some error seconds, severely error seconds, you now see that that is uh, starting to count down. We could even go into the test um, and under insertion we could decide to set some physical or pattern level events. We're going to uh, physical level events, frame level events or pattern level events. We're going to um, generate some slips now we go back to the test results um, and press the event key. You can see at the top there we're, gen we're generating some events and that causes some, some more errors. If we stop the test and we restart the test again then we'll go back to uh, nice clean results. And that basically is how you run a um, a bit of rate test on C3794. Just one other thing I actually want to mention, um, if you press the summary screen that takes you to the, or the summary button, that takes you to the summary screen that gives you um, an overview of what you're testing. Uh, it shows you here we're testing on one time slot, 64 kilobits per second, and at the moment we've, we're passing because uh, we've got no errors. If we, once again we disconnected uh, the optics quickly then you'll see we've, uh, we've generated a failure. And that's it for how you quickly set up a C3794 uh, bit of rate test.